where does gratitude start? With your words? Oh, uh, hold on a second. Hello? Oh, thanks. In your head? What about your heart? Being thankful includes all of those things, your heart, your head, and your words. But I think gratitude truly begins with your eyes. It starts with paying attention, stopping to see the people around you and all the other beautiful things in your life, like the way your dad buttered and cut your toes just the way you like it. That crossing guard standing in the pouring rain to make it safe for you to get to school. The way your kid brother can turn even cleaning your room into a party. Your fingerprints that God designed for you and no one else in the whole world. That amazing, breathtaking sunset on the way home from dance class. When you truly see these things, it changes your heart. The words bubble up in your mind and you can't help but say thank you. The more you remember to thank God and the people around you, the more others can see God at work in you. And that's why gratitude is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Hey! Are you ready for some fun? Me too! This month, we are shouting out our gratitude. Remember, gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. Let them know. Don't keep it inside. Say thank you. It'll change your whole outlook on life. As you can see, all this month, we've been getting some shout outs that people have sent in. People have sent more and more of these every week with words or pictures to remind them of the awesome things that God has done. Let's keep it going. Whether you've got something new to shout out or if you're here for the first time today, before you leave, make sure you write down a reason why you're thankful to God. And you can hang it up at home or send it to me at lwilson at hpcpatch.org and I'll hang it up here. I'm so excited for this time to sing and worship with all of you. It's a sure thing that we can put our trust in Jesus. This song is a wonderful thing for us to shout out and declare that together. Let's sing, I want to thank you. Here we go. Every time I'm feeling down, you pick me up. Sing. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing.
Hey guys, I love these words from Psalm 106 1. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. This is our chance to sing and give thanks to God for how amazing he is. He's always with us wherever we go. He always loves us. Let's sing this and let it out. is on my side you're always there when life's not fair got me from trying to run and hide so i thought so i thought that i should let you know together is my favorite part of the week. Hey, quick question for you. Have any of you ever gotten hurt, like a skinned knee or broke a bone, maybe bonked your head or something? Yeah, me too. I can remember when I was your age, I fell while I was jump roping and I tore open my knee pretty bad. I can remember getting help that day and I was really thankful to have someone there to help me. Or have you ever been sick, like with a stuffy nose or maybe a fever? Do you remember what it feels like? When I'm sick, I feel like it's sometimes the end of the world. I'm the worst patient. I wanna lie in bed and never move again. I can't even remember in those moments what it's like to be well. I just lay there and moan. We'll come back to that though in just a moment. Teaching you all from the Bible is my second favorite thing to do. I just love hanging out with you and sharing God's word. There's so much great stuff in this book. And today's story is no different. It comes from the book of Luke. 
Luke is one of the four Gospels that tell the story of Jesus' life. These books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When you read them, you'll find out about Jesus' miracles, the things he taught, the way he loved people, and of course, the way he rose from the dead. People wrote down what Jesus did and said because they had never met anyone like him. They believed that he really was the Son of God. Luke, who wrote the book of Luke, never met Jesus, but was good friends with Jesus's good friends. Luke was a doctor, so he included lots of great details as he told the story of Jesus's life. There's a story in Luke 17 that shows us something really important about gratitude. This story is about 10 men who were very sick. Let's watch this week's so-and-so show for the full story. Oh, oh, one, two, three, ah, oh, lost again. Here you go, John. I just wanted to say thank you. What for? For loaning me your nose hair trimmer. I, I feel like I can breathe again. Ah. Oh. <sighs> mm, we didn't have to. Ah, well, yeah, I know I didn't. Oh, I have something for you. What? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> there you go. What's this? Ah. Just a little something to say thank you for the donuts. Oh, this is really unexpected. I I didn't know that you were getting... How did you know I was getting you donuts? Yeah. That's great. Oh, man! Oh, wow. You know how much I love big fluffy sweaters. <laughs> Consider yourself <sighs> thanked. And to thank you for the sweater... Ah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, I painted this for you. Oh, for you? Oh, uh -huh. thank you. Two tickets for tonight's game. Oh, third row? Allow me to show my appreciation. What? An annual membership to the Chili of the Month Club? Well, guess what? <laughs> oh. Your new car? Yeah, just consider it a token of Thanks. my appreciation. Oh, I win! Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and we're glad you decided to hang out with us today. Because you could be doing anything other than watching us. Yeah, you could be playing video games. Or riding your bike. Or watching slime videos. Or counting your pencils. Or waiting in the bushes for the mailman to come by so you can jump out and bark at him again. But you're not. You are here hanging out with us. You could be at the movies. Okay, we did all that. Oh, uh, oh hey, speaking of, Brandon. I picked something up for you at the bookstore yesterday. Woo! You were at the bookstore? They also sell Slurpees. Ah. Uh, yeah. When I saw this, I thought of you, so here. It's for me. Yeah. Huh. Movie quotes for all occasions. I've heard about this book. It, it gives you the perfect movie quote to say, no matter what situation you're in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, listen to this one. This is for when you're in history class, but you don't want to be. <laughs> I never look back, darling. It detracts from the now. <laughs> it's from The Incredibles. Yeah, right? yeah. So, uh, you like it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, listen to this one. This, is, this okay. is for when you're charging into battle while wearing a kilt. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> that seems like a very specific occasion. So, uh, uh, I got you a gift. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to me? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to say to infinity and beyond. It's for when you're at a mathlete competition. <laughs> that's all you're gonna, that's it? No, 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 there's tons of stuff in here. I think it's time we play a game. I call, what are you forgetting? Here's one from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, that one's kind of obvious. Hey! I'll give it back to you once we're done with the game. Here's how to play. I'll show you a picture, and then you tell me what somebody forgot. Sounds easy enough. All right, All right. first one. 
What did they forget in this picture? Okay, I can tell you one thing they forgot. They forgot to put a picture on this puzzle. I mean, who wants to put together a, a plain white puzzle? Actually, the answer we were looking for is someone forgot to finish the puzzle by putting in the final piece. Oh, huh? yeah, I can see that. Okay. I can see that. Next one. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's Gary. Hey, Gary, you forgot to wear your glasses. You know that guy? <laughs> yeah, it's Gary. Okay, well, Gary forgot to shave half his beard off. Looks like he remembered to shave half his beard off. The beard. other half. Oh, gotcha. Next. Oh, that guy forgot to wear a tie. And he's missing his head! Oh. Next one! Last one! Oh, okay, now this one is, is very serious. This could be very dangerous, actually. actually. Uh, somebody forgot to hire a lifeguard for this pool. They forgot the water! There is no water in that pool! That pool has no liquid of any kind for him to go kerplunky! Well, obviously. And that's how you play Are You Forgetting Something? I thought it was called What Are You Forgetting? I got it! Yeah, hey. Good game. Can I can I have my book back now? Oh yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying your gift. Am I missing something? Yes. Did I do something? No, you didn't. It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Apparently, I did something or didn't do something. I just want to say, Cameron, thank you for filling in for our friend Kellen this month. No problem. What's that you're holding? Oh, oh, it's this book of movie quotes that John gave me. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? That's for when you're in a loud restaurant. What's the story, Cameron? Well, it's a story about being thankful and forgetting to be thankful. Perfect. Take it away, Cameron. I could use a little help for this story. Anyone want to lend a hand? Mm -hmm. That should work. Jesus was going to Jerusalem. On his way, he saw a group of 10 men. All of them had a skin disease. Stay away! We're unclean! And we may be contagious. Don't forget to social distance. When they saw Jesus, they cried out to him. Jesus, master. Have pity on us. No one wants to hang out with us anymore. Jesus felt pity on the 10 men. So he said, go show yourselves to the priests. Did he say, show ourselves to the priest? What good would that do? We're still unclean. Come on, it's Jesus. Maybe we should do like he says. So they set off to see the priests. And while they were on their way, something feels different. You're right. Uh, our skin disease, it's gone. We're all healed, just like Jesus said. We should go and tell him how grateful we are. Let's go. Sure, sure. We're right behind you. One of the men who had been healed was from Samaria. He was already kind of an outsider before he had the skin disease, yet he was the only one who went back to thank Jesus. He threw himself at Jesus' feet. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You've changed my life. You've saved my life. Thank you so much. And Jesus replied, weren't all 10 healed? Where are the other nine? Didn't anyone else return and give praise to God except this outsider? And then he said, get up and go. Your faith has healed you. The end. Thank you, helping hands. Wow, such a cool story, Cameron. But I can't believe only one person thanked Jesus. 
How can you forget to thank someone who was, who was so kind to you? Hello, saying thank you is not that hard. I mean, who would, who would do some, who would, oh. I'm out. I forgot to say thank you for the book you gave me. I'm one of the nine. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you should have said something. Well, I mean, I, we did play the whole game. Reveal the question. Why do people forget to say thank you? Yeah, there are a lot of people who do things for us. Moms, dads, friends, neighbors. We should be saying thank you a hundred times a day. But why do we forget? You can't handle the truth. Why are you so mad? I said thank you. No, it's a movie quote. I... Oh, yeah, good one. Talk about it together. Why do people forget to say thank you? And we'll see you guys next time for a brand new show. Bye! Bye! Okay, this is for when uh, one of your parents takes all your devices away. You cut me deep, Trick. You cut me real deep just now. <laughs> this is for when we're in the middle of this show and we forget what we're saying. Okay. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> That's Madagascar. <laughs> oh, when you're down to your last Oreo. My precious. <laughs> At the doctor's office. Okay. Okay. <coughs> <laughs>